Now, whenever I get this at the rental counter, I'm not all that excited because I have a Renegade and this is very much like a Renegade. This has a lower stance. It's a little bit more refined than the Renegade. So it doesn't look like a clown car. <laughs> I have the 2024 Jeep Compass for a couple of days. I figured I'd do a review. As I look at this model, what I really like about this, this is the limited trim. I love the two-tone. So we have the white body and the black top, which is very, very nice. Stylish. And unlike the Renegade, this has a lower stance. It's a little bit more refined than the Renegade. I think with the Renegade, you either love them or you hate them. This kind of fits in, right? Fits in in pretty much any parking lot. And it has a stylish flair. So I'm going to give it a thumbs up for its exterior. I'm loving these alloy wheels. Nice kind of a snowflake look to them. I love the Compass logo here. And again, this is the Limited, so this is not a trail-rated vehicle. Now, back in 2008, 2007, when the Compass was released, believe it or not, it was the only Jeep that had front-wheel drive. So when you thought Jeep prior to then, you thought rugged, rough and tumble. The Compass was the first model that kind of defied that. And they were really trying to capture that compact SUV market, I think it was a massive failure. This Compass was redesigned in 2017, right after my Renegade was introduced. And at the time, I loved it. So this vehicle does have the selectable four-wheel drive models. There is a Trail Hawk version, just like the Renegade that gives you a, a um, trail rated version or trail rated model but very 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 nice this is the refined version still a compact suv and we'll get inside and take a look the sun is tucked behind that cloud which gives me an opportunity to show you the interior of this compass now it's still very small in the back here so this seat is all the way back and again i'm an average guy about five nine you know and it's not terrible it's not terrible back here so maybe it is a little bit larger than my renegade turn this around there is decent headroom back here too Getting in and out of here wasn't that bad. So, eh, maybe, maybe I lied. The Renegade is awfully tiny in the back. Just, just, it's one of the things. A small back seat and a tremendously small tank, which I haven't had that issue in the Compass. Take a look at the interior here. Nice 10 inch infotainment center right there. And the interior is nicely appointed, guys. I love the continuation of the two tone theme inside. So you have the black faux leather. You have this sort of cream faux leather here on the dash with a nice stitching detail, some brushed aluminum some faux wood and you'll see this nice large infotainment screen i have a very nice leather wrapped or faux leather wrapped steering wheel the new jeep logo here the logo isn't new just the representation is new a new steering wheel cap here very very nice if you look over here again that 
two-tone design is very very nice see that Now, the one thing I'm going to say about this vehicle is look at the back there. Very poor visibility out of the back. That rear window is tiny. Which makes for some interesting backup maneuvers. But since 2018... All vehicles are required to have a kick-ass rear view camera and this does not disappoint a lot of the parts from this vehicle are shared with my renegade the engines a little rough sounding like my renegade so this is sort of like being at home in this vehicle but gets the job done it's certainly pleasant to drive not tremendously exciting to draw but it certainly does make all the plays now when i reviewed this back in 2018 or 2017 when it was just released i mentioned that it didn't have a lot of power like you don't feel like this burst of speed but i really did enjoy the vehicle and i still do enjoy the vehicle Although it be a little rough and harsh for a new car or a new truck. So you get into some of the competition like the Mazda product that I've been in lately. The engine's smooth. There's a little bit of a rumble to this engine that can be maybe a little off-putting. But for the most part, it's a fine vehicle, makes all the plays. The driving dynamics are capable while not being ultra inspiring gets the job done and if you own a compass you certainly should not be disappointed i'm not trying to bag on your vehicle because i do like it and i've had a renegade since 2015 so there you go i'm gonna open this up let's take a look at the engine So we're looking at a little turbo action. I'm loving the fact that manufacturers are going away from covering all the engine componentry with plastic. I hated that era. I hope it never comes back. But a nice compact and clean engine. And my Renegade runs a 2.4 liter Tiger Shark Turbo 4. It's probably what this is running, but Again, I will flash the engine specs in the editing process. Let's take a look at the boot, as they would say in, in England. So I have a little bag here. I'm throwing this out. But you can see, you have a pretty decent size or pretty decent amount of storage behind the rear seat i think it's about 27 28 cubes if i read the edmonds correctly which expands to i believe near 60 cubes when the back seats are folded flat So for a small SUV, for a compact SUV, it's not half bad, guys. Not half bad. I mean, specifically, if you look at the profile, again, it's got a sleek, kind of low profile. Doesn't look like much is going to be going in there, but take a look. Not bad at all. So there you have it. A quick, quick down and dirty 
review of the 2024 Compass. Again, I'm not spending a lot of time in it, not jazzed about it as I would be because in, in essence, I own the Renegade, which is very similar. They use, they both use Fiat parts, probably share the chassis, lots of things out of the parts bin, but very nice, smooth, um, lots of bling, like tech bling. So as standard equipment, there are safety avoidance features like um, rear traffic, pedestrian traffic warning and things of that nature, which comes standard in the Compass which I don't have in my Renegade. And if you're looking for something that gets you in and out of the city, I took this to the city yesterday. It's easy to maneuver in and out of parking spaces and garages in bumper to bumper traffic. It handles and performs like a champ. Probably priced right right now. Go for it. <laughs> All right. I hope you've enjoyed this Hope you've enjoyed this quick review of the Jeep Compass guys. Trying to get these done with a sense of brevity these days. Let me know what you think. And I'll see you guys next time. <laughs> but in the meantime, you know what to do. Keep pushing play. Now Haley, roll the music. Thank you.